guys, it is I back at it once again. The name is Gerald. All right, so I wanna start this video out with like a little scenario. So picture this, it's a cold winter day in 2010. You're warm and cozy inside, wrapped in a blanket, sitting right in front of your computer screen. And your favorite YouTuber just posted a new video and you cannot wait to watch it over and over and over. Yeah, so that was me basically every day of 2010. I was pretty much just in this room, wrapped in a blanket, sitting here watching videos all day, every day. So basically what I'm trying to say here is 2010 is when I realized I have an addiction. I was addicted to YouTube, what's up? Honestly, um, I, I never got treated for it though, so I think I'm still suffering from that. The whole YouTube addiction um, never went away. <laughs> oh, damn, that kind of hurt it. <sighs> All right, so speaking of 2010, I'm convinced that there is nothing as nostalgic as YouTube was back in 2010. Just thinking back to 2010 and all the time I spent sitting here watching videos, it just, it brings back so many memories. But I mean, honestly, like what else was I supposed to do back then? I mean, TikTok wasn't a thing. Vine wasn't a thing yet. I mean, shit, Snapchat wasn't even a thing. YouTube was here basically before everything else. Back in 2010, YouTube was still relatively new and it wasn't really like a mainstream thing yet. I mean, what was it? 2010, YouTube was like, what, five years old? I mean, come on now, it was just a baby. And I remember back in 2010, back when I was still in high school, just a little baby boy taking a nap. It just, it seemed like not that many kids at my school were using YouTube. And honestly, just in general, I feel like it, it just wasn't that big. Like, honestly, thinking about it, I kind of feel like all those kids in 2010 that were using YouTube were kind of like the weird kids. Weird as in... Me. Hello. I don't know, like it just kind of seemed like a little outlet, a place for all the weird kids to gather and then like fangirl over other weird kids. Like I swear, YouTube back in 2010, it just kind of seemed like the place to go if you want to find a bunch of socially awkward kids sitting in the room talking to a camera. And I remember back in 2010, some of the biggest YouTubers were people like Live Lava Live, Destiny, Super Mac 18, Official Banff. Oh, oh my God. Give me a slice of that one. <laughs> also, uh, mustaches were like a really big thing in 2010. Aha, it just kind of seemed like everybody had an obsession with fake mustaches back then, myself included. And you know what, I just have two questions about that. One, why exactly was that a thing? And two, can we please bring the mustache trend back? I kind of miss it. I'm just saying, I think the one thing 2020 needs is fake mustaches. Can we bring those back or what? Come on. I'm gonna start a petition to bring them back. So if you wanna sign it, just let me know. Hit me in the DMs. You know what? I feel like one of the main reasons why YouTube was just so much better back then is because it was just a bunch of kids sitting in their room making videos. Like they didn't have all this professional equipment. Their videos weren't sponsored by some stupid fighting app about war. Has anyone actually played that? And there just weren't a ton of high production YouTube channels. It was legit just a bunch of kids in their room with a shitty little camera making shitty little videos like myself right now. Okay, maybe this camera isn't that shitty. It cost me a pretty penny. So, but I think you guys know what I mean. Like back then YouTube just seemed like so much more genuine. It was just people like sitting down talking to a camera and it kind of felt like you were sitting there talking to a friend. Which leads me to my next point, which is I think that's why Emma Chamberlain is so successful on YouTube. Because watching her videos feels like you're just sitting down and talking to a friend. A friend that has a coffee addiction. But we're just, we're not gonna talk about that. But anyway, back to today, it is now 2020. And uh, yeah, it, it is in fact 2020. It is in fact a year that that is happening right now. <clears throat> um, I don't really know what else to say about 2020. There's not much to say about it other than what the f happened. But don't worry, at the time of me filming this video, we only have 67 days to go until 2021, baby. Hey, ho, let's throw a party, huh? Um, can you host it though in your room? Mine's, my room's kind of small. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just kind of expecting 2021 to be a lot better than 2020 was, unless something bad happens again, in which case I'm moving to the goddamn moon. But okay, that's it. I just wanted to sit down, make a little video, have a little chat, maybe get a little nostalgic together. Huh? Who else misses 2010? Let me know in a comment below right now. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up for me. And I don't know, maybe consider subscribing if you're new here. And if you don't subscribe, it is actually seven years of bad luck. And I'm not just saying that, trust me. But um, I think that is it. So let me just say, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you again very soon. But until next time, peace. Bye.